How's it going guys? Welcome back to CMake where you're watching episode 5. Today we're going to talk a little bit more about libraries and how to make them optional. And uh, I'm just going to show you that. So we're going to be getting deep into CMake very, very soon. Actually, we already are. Let's just be honest. Okay, so we're going to open our project from last time. If you haven't watched the previous videos, highly recommended to get here. Also, don't forget to thumbs up these videos and give me some support on this channel. Yada, yada. Okay, so our program was our Lord and Savior. We're talking about CMake here. CMake's our Lord and Savior. It is the build system of choice for pretty much all C++ developers that, uh, or C, even C developers that uh, that care, you know? No, I'm just kind of saying that to say it. I don't actually mean that. All right, so, uh, it, but I do mean that it's awesome. All right, so we have this adder library. We don't really need it. It's pretty, pretty, uh, you know, no bueno, but maybe you have a project that has a bunch of different libraries and depending on how they're running it or why they're running it or, or something like that, you just flat out don't want a library. So what you do in that case is you make an option. So you see there's an option for getting the sub modules here. You can turn it off or on, but we would say, for example, we want to have the option to you know, not in, not use this adder. So we'll say option uh, use adder. So that's basically the variable name. It's going to be a true or false thing or on and off, however you want to call it. Uh, we'll have some text there about what it is and we'll default it to on for now. And here we can say a simple library for adding two floats because that's you know that's what it is that's just some information for the user you can put whatever you want there of course our library like i mentioned in the first episode or whatever episode we did is entirely useless and just uh, purely for example so all right so what we want to do here is if they change this to off we don't want to add this subdirectory so we'll then have a little if statement here that says if use adder add subdirectory and then we'll end the if there so there's a little if statement so there we go now there's a little more to it than this and i had to cover the config last episode because this can involve your config okay so there's also a little more to it than that so we have this include directory here so we also want to basically separate these out and also have them around an if statement, which we can do basically anywhere after we add this executable, but we'll do it all kind of chunked together here. So I'll make a comment here and I'll just put adder use logic. Uh, yeah, that'll be fine. And just to make this super quick, I'm just going to go up here and start pasting some stuff in here. I'll clean that up in a second, but we basically want to remove the adder from this whole section because this is all just the GLFW stuff. Cool. All right. So up here, of course, we don't need this GLFW stuff, but we now have it within this uh, if use adder. So if they choose to use your adder, you add the subdirectory and then you include the directories. But if they don't, then you just don't do all this stuff. So that's kind of the gist of it there. There is a little more to it. Yeah, I guess the best way to do this is to just put it in this config. And uh, let's see. We basically just want a compiler directive here. If def use uh, adder, then we include adder dot h and then we of course end our if here and now in our core program which is in our main.cvp we no longer have to put this in here because if we didn't add it to the library list then we don't want to try to include it it's not going to find it it's going to have a compiler error and we also want to put some if defs in here. We already have this config 
So when this config file is built, it's going to decide for us whether or not to include that adder. So we need a little if def here too. If def use adder, then we do the C out thing that we're testing there. And there we go. So that should take care of that. And of course you could have like an else if here where if you have two options, like maybe you have two different libraries you could use in theory do the same thing. So you could do some, some pretty interesting stuff here. So we could do, for example, else if just, if they don't use the adder, we can just say, for example, I don't know, let's use just the default. And of course we get the same result. So if they're using the adder, it's going to use that library to do it. Otherwise we could do it this way. And you can, you know, you can do anything you want with these. If, if you have some other directive, it's else if, and you put whatever that is here. Like you could say Linux, or you could have Win32, or whatever it may be. We'll just put a plain else here. That sounds good to me. Okay, we actually need to do this differently. CMake define. CMake is going to define this. Use adder. In the CMake, we have to have, let's see here, we got the configure file already. I think we need to put this option above that. Yeah, so we'll put this up here. But we do need to put this executable up here as well, like so. That way we have our target ready, this uh, add executable target. Okay, so there's a way we can do this where we can do this executable later. So we'll do it after the configure file. But instead of just having all this, we'll have a list of like uh, different libraries. Okay, so if we use the adder, we add the subdirectory, and then we'll just make a variable list append. Uh, okay, the, the example I'm looking at calls it extra lives, and it would be adder and we want to also have a list of the includes so this way you could have them all kind of check if you have a bunch of optional libraries and you can just keep appending them to this list and of course this is actually the same since that's just the name of our directory here the name of the folder a lot of people like to put right here Uh, project source directory and that way it starts from the root and then goes to the folder in case it's in a weird location that can help and you probably want quotes around this and now we no longer need these and later when we go to add our libraries that's when we put these in here and we won't say public again, we'll just say extra includes, which will be blank if the library's off, of course, but if not, we'll actually need it. And we'll also put in here extra lives. So the link directories needs the extra lives. Include directories needs the extra includes. And those will only be appended to that list if you're using the adder, otherwise it's just going to be blank. I may have messed up here. I don't think we need this. Let's go ahead and give it a run and see what happens. Source here. Build into out slash build. Cool. 
and now we can run it. But we want to kind of be able to we want to be able to tell if we ran it because this is going to look exactly the same either way. So we'll just add some additional text here, such as using adder live, okay, not using adder live. That way we can very explicitly tell whether we're using it or not. Since it is defaulting to on, if we don't say anything about it, it's just going to use it. But if we change that option to off, so let's do a new configure since we changed a few things and we'll then build. Um, yeah, I'm trying to avoid using these commands because it might be confusing to people. But I, even though I did explain it. So let's go into out build. We already have. Okay, so let's just run this. Or yeah, let's run this executable. But first we want to build with make. And it looks like add was not declared in this scope. So let's go take a look at our out build in this config here. It says define use adder. Very good. But we actually need to include it. So we'll go back to this file up at the top and we'll say if and that should take care of it. Now we'll go ahead and recompile with build. Uh, let's go back a few directories. And, and once again, let me just show you this build real quick. All it does is it changes directory to out.build and then it runs make. That's all it does. So let's just run that build. And it still doesn't see it. Why doesn't it see it? Extra lives adder, extra includes. Oh, this is lowercase. The library name is lowercase in our case because that's what we named it when we did add library in this cmake list.txt for the adder. So I think that'll fix it. Let's run configure again, which just runs this command here like we typed it in. Just trying to be as clear as possible here. Still doesn't see it. So we must have something wrong with this include directory. Oh, we spelled something wrong. What are we doing wrong? See if you can catch it before I do. It's probably something really simple. Oh, this needs to be lowercase because our header right there is lowercase. That's all it is. Okay, so now it should work. We'll reconfigure and we'll build. Now it builds successfully and we can run it. Let's take a look at our run command here. It just changes directory to out.build and then runs the program. That's all it does. So we'll do that. And there we go, using adder library. And now what we can do is when we run CMake, when we go CMake, uh, well, we'll just uh, simplify this sure you could type it in command line since we're since we're using these sh files we can just do these options here and give it more options so we want to say use adder and we'll turn that to off so d for option change name of the option and then what you want to set it to so now instead of on it'll be off and it'll essentially do the same thing otherwise and now we can We'll run configure again since we changed our cmake, well, we didn't change our cmake file. We'll just build then. Let me just check out this. No, we do need to run configure again so it updates our cmake cache to put this uh, change this adder to off. So we'll do that and now we'll build. And it looks like it's trying to link the adder but it doesn't find it. So we have a bit of an error there. Why is it trying to link? Let's check out our build.sh. Looks fine. Configure. Let's take a look at our CMake list. So we're only adding it if we're set to use adder. This target link libraries right here is what it is. So we're trying to link it when it's not 
there. So we need to make it just another list for that. We'll just change this. This is going to be extra include ders. All right. Because uh, it's just a little more clear. Extra include ders. This one's going to be extra library ders. Just to make it as clear as possible. Make sure I'm getting this right. So the include, extra include ders, link directories, extra lib, libs ders, that, that sounds a little weird. Let's just do lib ders. Well, the lib directory is capital A, so I'm kind of, kind of messing this up a little bit. Okay, so that'll be, there we go. And now here, we only want to add this one here. if we're actually linking it, so extra link. And we'll just call it extra links. And this one is the lowercase one. We can put these in quotes. It's usually a good idea to put it in quotes if it's just a, a string. Um, I still haven't found out all the nuances of when to put these quotes and when not to. Some people say always do if it's any sort of string, but it's not entirely clear to me. So now we'll just put that right here. Extra links. This should clear it up. Let's go ahead and configure again so it rebuilds our cache. Then we'll do a build, cross fingers, yep, built successfully. And then we will run. Uh, run. There we go. Not using adder. Cool. And once again, if we change this and just take this out of here or put it to on, which is its default anyway, and then do a another configure, another build, another run, then we are using the adder. So there you go. But uh, there is the logic for the list and appending and at the bottom there we just link all the extras if it's blank then that's fine they're just not there and if there's something there then it does link them and since it has this option logic we can toggle it on and off and i will once again show this config it's just cmake define use adder and then in our main we have a few compiler directives whether we need to include it or not, and then a little little else-ift for which one we're using. So there you go. There's how to option in your libraries and take it a step further. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Happy coding.